Okay, so tonight, um, I mean, obviously, like I said, you guys, here, I'm just going to mute everybody. So, like I told you guys, um, before I left for Summit, I wanted to start doing weekly calls. I'm not going to be piggybacking off of Julie's anymore. Um, although, I'm still going to be posting the event for the Pierce Energy calls in our coach group since those are on Tuesdays and it won't interfere with anything for ours. And obviously, there's always really good information in those. But we're going to start doing weekly calls for our team and it's going to be Wednesdays at 8.30, like right now. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen. I actually have a presentation for tonight. Like I feel all official. Okay. Let me full screen this. Okay. Can you guys see that? Somebody unmute themselves and let me know if you can see it. Okay, good. All right, so one of the biggest things that I took away from Summit was the important of having, importance of having a vision and goals in sight. So today we're going to talk about creating a vision board. But first, I want to kind of recap a lot of the really important things from Summit. Um, we've had a lot of new launches, three or what, first of which the Shakeology Boosts. Um, I actually was pretty iffy about these when Carl announced them. Um, I wasn't sure how I would feel about them. However, I tried one, the focused energy in one of the shakes that I got from the Shakeology bar, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, all of the information about the boost is in the team files under um, you know, the Shakeology boost information. But basically, there's focused energy, which is, it gives you a dose of caffeine. It's 100 milligrams of caffeine, and it's from guarana and green tea. There's also power greens, which that's basically like made up of kale, spinach, um, celery, spirulina, cucumbers, just a whole bunch of greens. So it just gives you that extra dose in there, um, which is really good for kids and, you know, husbands that are very not into eating greens. <laughs> um, and digestive health, which that gives you, it's like the perfect amount of um, fiber with the, I believe, with chocolate shake allergy. For some reason, it's just like, it mixes perfectly with that amount. But however, you know, obviously it works with all of the flavors too. That's going to help you. Um, it helps with bloating and it helps just I mean, if you're a little bit clogged up, it helps you get through that too. So those are all available now. Um, for Team Cup, which I'm going to be talking about next, they if you sell a challenge pack along with one of the boosts, you actually get an extra success club point for the month of August for a Team Cup. Um, so I highly suggest you guys try at least one of those and you, um, you know, do a review on it and tell your customers about it because honestly, I got focused energy and digestive health and I love them both. They all come with 20 servings, um, but I'm also going to be getting power greens as well. And you can get those on HD. The performance line also came out that has a pre-workout. It has a during workout called hydrate. There's a post-workout and then there's a um, creatine for night and those are going to be available for HD I actually think they're going to be available in challenge packs because you are going to be able to get successful points for those as well those are NSF certified so for any trainers that think that you know our products aren't up to par that's a really good thing to tell them um, because obviously NSF is official for um, you know trainers and anybody in the fitness industry Size also came out, is if you guys didn't know, um, honestly, you know, everybody should have their event up because we are doing that test group on August 3rd. It is so, so, so important to actually be promoting this because this can be absolutely huge for your business. Um, I mean, I've had so many people come to me and they're so excited to do the group. And I highly suggest that Although we are starting a size test group um, for August 3rd, 
I know that for Team Cup, that might be a little weird. So what I would suggest is doing a follow-up test group saying, you know, I filled up all my spots in the first one. I'm really excited to offer a second one to you guys and do it, you know, two weeks into the month, so around the 15th. That way you get even more success club points and you're working towards Team Cup and you're promoting size and you're just moving your businesses forward. Okay, so those were the product launches. Honestly, Summit was such an amazing experience. I learned, I can't even... I'm, I mean, I have team calls lined up for like weeks with the information that I absorbed from Summit. And I, I everything from Summit, you can actually watch um, on YouTube. I believe it's on the Beachbody channel. I will get those links to you guys because you should really watch all of the seminars and the um, sessions. There were some amazing speakers, absolutely amazing. And um, just the trainings were just so full of information that it, it's just, it's amazing. So you all should be getting there next year. If you didn't get your ticket, which was discounted up until the 19th, um, it will be going up to 295 now, but it's already sold out. So you want to get on the wait list as soon as possible. You can do that at coachsummit2016.com. Okay, moving on. Team Cup. Team Cup is August. So for those of you who haven't done a Team Cup before, it's, you know, a month long. It's for August, so 1st to 31st. And basically, you have five team members, and you can only have one diamond out of those five. You are going to, you know, you, you have to pick out your team. So what you're going to do is you're going to find four other people that you want to get on a team with, and you're going to account... Um, you're going to have a team leader who's going to sign you guys up. You choose a team name, whatever. You know, do a Facebook group for you guys or a group chat or something just to keep you all in communication with each other. Um, I, I mean, this is crazy. I heard a speaker, it's actually Mel Melanie Mitro's cousin, who talked about how she really wanted to help her coaches, so she got on a team cup team with a bunch of her aspiring diamonds, and in a matter of 30 days, she went from diamond to six star qualifying. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> six star qualifying in a matter of 30 days. Can you even imagine what Team Cup can do for you if that's what happened with her? Now, you know, that's not just getting on a team and going about your normal business. This is like really, really pushing for it. Um, getting on one-on-one -on -one calls with each other and, you know, doing weekly calls and just really staying in touch and running challenge groups together and doing everything possible to move your businesses forward. There's a ton of prizes that you can win. Um, the tier one, tier two, and tier three, you can see this is actually the banner in our coach group at the moment. Um, so, you know, if you guys get 30 team points, you get and you have to get Success Club 5 or 10, you'll get a selfie stick, you know, tier 2, 50 team points with Success Club 5, but you have to have 7 points, um, you'll get a size hat, plus you'll get the selfie stick, so you get, you know, if you were to win the grand prize, you also get all of the prizes underneath it, too. Now, how do you get um, points for Team Cup? You can get one Success Club point, um, or one Success Club point equals one Cup point, so if you were to shout, sell Shakeology HD, you know, you'd get one point towards the cup. Um, a rank advancement also counts towards the cup. So that includes not only yourself, but your downline coaches. So if you are a, an Emerald coach and um, you sign up a coach and they go Emerald, not only would you get a point for going Emerald, if, you know, say that you went Emerald that month as well, you would get a point for your coach going Emerald too. Now, this is where the other success club point comes in for the boost or the performance. Um, if you sell a challenge pack to a new customer or a new coach in August, you also get an extra point if you sell a boost or a performance product. And that's in addition to the two cup points received for the challenge pack as well. So, grand prize is a trip to Los Angeles. You get to meet, um, I, I don't know if it's just one or a few of the trainers, but um, I mean, 
seriously guys, this can be absolutely huge for your business. It doesn't matter if you're a new coach or if you've been a coach for a while and just fell off track or if you're just like a consistent coach. This can be absolutely huge for your business because it's really going to help you to push and just, I mean, it's literally a contest and a challenge and um, just like our regular challenge groups with challenge you know, points, it's going to keep you moving forward because you want to get competitive and you want to win. So definitely find four other people, sign up for the Team Cup. The um, link to sign up is teambeachbody.com slash teambeachbodycup. And like I said, you'll just need a team leader. And there you go. All right. So let's get into the meat of it. Um, you know, you want to create a vision. I can't even tell you how important it is to really think about what you want out of life. You know, I really love this quote, the quality of a leader is reflected in the standards that they set for themselves. And that's basically just saying, if you don't have goals, if you're not pushing forward, it's so easy to get lost and it's, you know, nobody's gonna follow you. So you really wanna have a clear vision of what you want. This is out of life, out of business, out of love, out of everything. Dream big, you know, what's important to you? You know, is family size important to you? Do you want to have more kids? Are you married? Do you want to improve your marriage? Do you want to, um, you know, get married in the future? Do you want to improve your finances, you know, specific amounts? Do you want to be earning six figures? Do you want to join the Millionaires Club? Do you just want to cover enough to cover your Shakeology at first? Um, do you want to rank advance? Do you want to be elite? Do you want to be top 10 in the company? Do you want to pay off your debt? You know, this can be your mortgage or a car payment or, you know, a car in general or student loan debt. Do you want to make enough money to send your kids to college without them having to take out student loans? Do you want to build your dream home? Do you want to travel? You know, there's really no right or wrong vision or goal, but the most important thing is that it has to be important to you because this is your life. You're not trying to live for somebody else. You're trying to live to accomplish what you want out of life. Now, creating a vision board. I have seeing is believing, which is, you know, like I think it's a Walt Disney quote probably, um, but really it's so true. If you actually have a visual of something, it's going to be so much easier to see yourself actually attaining that goal. And you're just going to keep on reminding yourself over and over again every day. That's what I want. Um, just make sure you're muted. Just make sure you're muted. Okay. So, so, somebody's not muted. Okay. Okay. So on, so on how do you create a vision board? You can do this on PicMonkey. Okay, sorry. Hold on. Okay. You can do this on PicMonkey. Um, I mean, we all love PicMonkey. It's easy to use. Um, it's, it's just out there. You can do that. You can also use Canva. That's actually what I created this on. It's also very easy to use and it, it's free. And you can, say, it automatically saves for you. So if for some reason your computer crashes or something, you're not gonna lose your work. If you're you know, a pen to paper kind of a person, you can use magazines and do a cutout you know, and either have a cork board that you're posting things on, or even you can cut things out and just paste them on your refrigerator, well not paste them, but you can put them on your refrigerator so that way, you know, you're looking at them every single day. So basically you just wanna keep this visible at all times, because the more you see your goals, the more you see what you want, the better you can envision reaching those goals. Now you want to set dates. You don't just want this to be like in general, because if you don't set a date, it's going to be easy to just let yourself, let it fall behind. You want to give yourself a timeline. By setting a date to a goal, you're going to fuel your fire faster to reach it. 
Um, you know, I know personally, I always have a date set to something, even if it's just a month, like say August of 2016, it's still putting a tangible goal onto reaching that goal. You know, and you want to be reasonable, but you don't want to sell yourself short. I've heard so many coaches, just for example, with rank advancing, I've heard so many coaches be like, oh, I want to be diamond in a year. <laughs> you guys can be diamond in like three months or less. You just have to work for it. But, you know, you don't want to say, well, I want to be diamond in a week. That's probably not going to happen. You're going to get frustrated and you're just, it's going to be easy to just let that goal go because you're like, well, I didn't reach it, even though it was unreasonable. It was an unreasonable amount of time to give yourself to reach that. So don't set goals that you know you can't reach in a set amount of time. Um, but don't overestimate the amount of time that it'll take you to reach them. Like I said, with the diamond in a, uh, in a year, you know, you can do that way before then. Now, putting it all together, create your vision board. This is just some stuff that I threw together. Honestly, I haven't done mine yet. Um, it's going to be on my to-do list this week. Obviously, I just got back from Summit, so I have like a million things happening. But I threw a few things together just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about here. Now, you can see all of these things have visuals, but you can also put you know, words to inspire you or motivate you on there as well. You don't have to have all pictures. You can have words, you know, you can have anything, but you want a visual so you actually see it in your face. You wanna have those dates attached to it too. So as you can see on the left, I have a picture of myself and my husband, and I said honeymoon for 2016. My husband and I never had a honeymoon yet, so that's something that I would love to do for us. Um, Elite 2016, I said last year, well, I guess earlier this year, that when Julie went elite, I was like, you know what? I sat down with my husband and I'm like, I want to go elite this year. You have to reach it by December 31st in order to be elite for 2016. So that is a huge goal of mine. I want to pay off all of my student loan debt. <laughs> I, you know, really, who wants that? But I gave myself till 2017 because, um, you know, I really want to still propel my business forward. There's other things that I want to get done before that. Help five of my coaches hit diamond by December of this year. Um, not only will that propel my own goals, but it will help me tremendously just knowing that I helped you guys. Um, my car paid off in 2016. I would love to get rid of that car payment. <laughs> um, I want to also put $5,000 into savings by the end of next year, along with all of these goals. And I also said I would love to build our own dream home by 2018. Yes, I know, I just bought a house. But, you know, I am dreaming big here. I want my dream house. And I'm going to give myself a few years to do it, but I'm going to do it. And that's the kind of conviction that you want to have. You're like, by putting this on your goal board, this is going to happen. You are going to do this. So now you want to set your intentions. There's something called the I am's. Um, and you want to live your life with those I am's. And if you're kind of wondering what that means, it's a very strange concept to actually adapt. But basically, you just affirm your goals and you speak as if you've already reached them. Meaning, I would say, I am five-star elite. I own my own dream house. I know that's not I am, but it's the same difference. I am debt-free. So I am not five-star elite yet, but if I'm saying I am five-star elite, I am putting that thought out there. I am setting my intention. And I am going to manifest what I want out of life by doing so, which is why I said manifest what you want out of life. Make a plan. Now that you have you know, your goals set and you have the visuals out there and you have dates attached to them, you really have to figure out what do you have to do to reach your goals. You wanna be specific. You wanna make a plan and you wanna put it into action. You guys have to work your ass off to make your dreams come true. I'm sorry if, you know, some people feel like they're entitled and things will just happen because they're meant to happen. And the fact of the matter is, you wanna go out there and you wanna make it happen yourself regardless. And 
once again, manifest what you want out of life, but work your ass off to get it there. So now your call to action. I want you guys to go out and create your own vision board. I want you to dream big. Don't sell yourself short. Pour your heart out. Be selfish. I mean, this is your life. I want you to imagine the things that you, I, like seriously, just dream big. Imagine what you want, no matter how big or how small. Have fun with this. This is, this is something that's going to give you a visual and it's going to just solidify that why of yours because you're going to see it and you're going to feel it and you're going to just want it so bad because you're going to be looking at it every single day and you're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to get that. I am that. And it's going to help make it happen. Visualize your ideal life. This is your life. We are doing this to create a life that we want to live. A, you know, design a life that we want to live. So guys, create your vision board by next week. And I really want to see photos in the coach group. Um, so you guys can take screenshots if you did it on the computer, or you can take actual, um, you know, photos if you have a physical one that you have on you. Um, but I really want to see what all of your goals are, what you guys are striving to achieve and, you know, obviously, maybe that'll help some of us come up with even more things that we want to achieve in life as well. All right, I think that's it. So I'm going to stop sharing. So do you guys have any questions? You can unmute yourself if you do. I have a question. Yes. Um, okay, so... I'm excited about the, the vision board, by the way, because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, um, so the size um, group, like, um, the event, is there already an event, like, post-created that, like, for the background, or should I use the video that I made as, like, like, a still of that video and post the video on my event? What do you mean, like, for the banner? <laughs> like, yeah, is there, like, a banner? Like, um, how, you know, like, how you had one for the clean eating group? You know, like, the just the banner on the outside? Or should I just do that all for myself? Like, all on my own? Because I have, like, a background banner that, like, I, that I use. Um, yeah, you can create your own. I created one, um, but I'm pretty sure it has my link on it. Mm -hmm. So I, I wouldn't want to give that out to you. Um, mm -hmm. But you can create one in PicMonkey pretty easily. Right. Um, and that way you can put all of your own links on there and put your own spin on it too. Okay, perfect. And so was yeah, just Google like um, the size that it has to be. I actually think PicMonkey already has a yeah, the banner size. Board. Yeah. So it's, yeah. And always save it as a PNG because that's the best quality. As a what? That's the best quality, even though Facebook always distorts it anyways. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it sucks. Okay, so I should put, like, my, my video on there? Yeah. Oh, definitely, like, be posting um, in your group. You want to be posting in there, or well, in your event, like, daily or every other day or something, because it's going to keep it popping up into the news feed and onto, um, you know, it's people are going to get notifications if you invited them to it. Like, oh, hey, this person actually, you know, so there was a comment in there. So that way it's posted or it's getting up there. People are seeing it more. People are more responding. And by people responding, their friends are going to see that they're responding and so on and so forth. So it opens up your market. Okay. But, yeah, videos are really, really good. Perfect. So I already have one of me looking like a crazy person doing it, so. It's okay. I've done a few that I look like a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Anyone else? All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you then. If you have any questions, um, definitely let me know. And I'm really, really excited not only to see your vision boards, but to create my own too. Um, I've been super excited about this idea ever since I heard it at Summit. So um, I'm a very visual person, and I, I love actually seeing what I want. And it's, it's by having that there, I'm, 
I'm going to push for it more, which that's why I think this is so important for you guys to do. Because if you have that strong why, if you have those goals in sight, literally in sight, you're going to push for them more because you're going to be so much more excited about them. All right. So if there's nothing else, then I release you to your lives and I will see you guys next week. All right. See ya.